Alright, so what's up YouTube? So in this episode, I'm going to show y'all how to uh, get codes out of a 1994 Integra. This is an Integra I've been working on lately. I just put a clutch in. I've done a whole bunch of work to this car in the last like three months. Um, so right now I'm trying to pull engine codes. And there's not a lot of videos on YouTube really showing you. Like actually where everything is. They kind of just point out a plug and all that. So in this video, I'm going to try to show you exactly how to do it. So first things first, you got to find your little uh, plug. It's going to be blue. And it's going to be looking like this. Right here. You see, I got two blue plugs right here. And it's always going to be by your, on your uh, passenger side where your ECU is. And on some videos, it's back here. Well, on this car, it's actually right here. It was stuck up under here. And it was actually in this thing. I've never seen one of these before. It's like something you put uh, the ends in. And it was just chilling up here. So I pulled it down. You got one with four or three wires going to it. You got the other one with two. You need the one with the two wires. And it's going to be blue like this. So you take a paper clip and stick it in there. You got to like jump it out pretty much. Once you do that, you go over here, turn your ignition on, look at your thing, and watch for your engine code. You see it start blinking? Now you gotta count those. And right now I'm trying to figure out what this is, what codes this is throwing right now. And when you go turn the key, just turn the car on until it's on not actually start the car and you watch the flashes and you gotta count them and all that uh, I'm about to figure out what the, this is throwing this is the car I'm working on I just put a clutch in it it's a 1994 Integra LS with uh, it's actually LS VTEC with a JDM front end alright so I figured out what it was so when it was flashing, it flashed six times. And I'm gonna try to explain this to y'all. So, my friend came here to help me with it because he's more familiar with OBD1. That's the first car I messed with that's OBD1. And so pretty much, you got uh, quick flashes and long flashes. And it was doing quick flashes. I think it was doing the, uh, the type of flashes that was thrown, it was six. It flashed six times. And, I got online and looked it up. It was the uh, coolant temperature. It was this one right here, coolant temperature. Well, the plug, one of the wires broke off. So I guess when I did the clutch and I was pulling the transmission back up and put it back in place, I knocked the uh, plug loose and the wire came off or whatever. So off of my wire harness for the SI, I cut the plug and wired it back in and plugged it back in and the light went out. So that was her problem with that car, but I've done a lot of work to that car in the last, she's only had it for like a month. And when she brung it here, it wasn't running, it needed a slave cylinder, so I put a new slave cylinder in it, it started right up. And it has a built head supposedly, it's LS VTEC, and it's a really clean car, it's the JDM front end, which is like a thousand dollars I believe. If y'all want to see videos on it, let me know in the comments below or give this uh, video a thumbs up. I'll try to put some videos out because I've been working on it a lot and it still needs a lot more work. But it's her daily driver so I can only do so much at a time. But, uh, that's it on this video. I just want to show y'all how to check engine codes on a uh, OBD1 car. Uh, there's some videos out there on the internet like I said but they don't really show you how to do it like where the plug is and all that. And uh, I found the plug and all that but... I just want to show y'all how to do it and get a video out to y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at that civic kid for the SI updates and stuff like that, like behind the scenes and pictures of like real time, and uh, keep updates on uh, her car, the uh, Integra. If y'all are interested in that car, it's a really clean car. But uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.